Hey, welcome to a fun session of Weld.com. Several months back, we did a, a, a video on gas tungsten arc welding high low because and we kind of explain that things happen in the field and you may not get fittings or whatever the situation is, but we did it with gas tungsten arc welding. Today, I have set the camera guy up with some high low so he can weld it with stick. Anyway, we've got about eighth inch gap here. We've got a fair amount of stuff here, some offset. I've only put two tacks in and they're consistently off, you know, in one plane. And I want to turn these so that my tacks are top and bottom. I want to do one of these uphill and one of them downhill with 6010 just to run the route. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, again, you may get fittings that aren't that aren't true or you may have a situation in the field where this is the best it's going to get and you got to weld some high low we still want to get that 100 percent root in there so let me get my shirt and my hood on we'll go at it camera guy you got a 50 or 100 dollar bill from the man cub 50 dollar bill thanks a lot sucker appreciate it from all the you, taught me, so. <laughs> <laughs> you just lost 50 bucks i ain't giving it back People ask me what kind of fit I like. I can run about anything <clears throat> uh, technique wise. I will manipulate. Today I've got like the room key fit going on in here. Both sides, this backside over here that I'm looking at slightly tighter. I'm gonna do one part of this uphill. I'm gonna do the other part downhill. Uh, you know, when I run into a loose or a tight gap, a lot of times I'll do it with technique or I'll just change the amperage. It's no big deal. Uh, a gentleman from South Coast Welding Academy, Hamar Aguilo, and I have done some technique contrast videos where he likes to manipulate and, and I just like to stick it and go. So whatever needs to happen on this, I need to first recognize where my high-low is. My low part is away from me. I'm going to be over here welding uphill. So I need to make sure that I'm getting into this and building the profile. So I may need to slightly manipulate, point this wire back toward me just a little bit. Again, when we get into it, we're gonna look at our keyhole. Whatever needs to happen, we'll make our adjustments on the fly. I'm doing a slight stitch here up and down just to kind of make sure I'm carrying this keyhole. go play golf or something. I think I'm blended in pretty good. I think I see a spot right up here on top. I didn't quite get into my tack. I need to feather that back and blend into it again. Other than that, 
we're good. The second half of this, or the second part of it, I'll go ahead and run downhill for all you API boys, our fans. Start and stop. We can clean that out. Again, I think I've got a little bitty spot right there that I may not have blended into. So for camera angle purposes, I'm just gonna turn this around 180 degrees. <clears throat> We'll start up here and end down here. We basically have the same gap. So I put two long tacks in, one at 12 o'clock, one at six o'clock to keep it there. And I'm gonna run about the same amperage. I was doing a little gentle stitch on the way up, making sure I had that keyhole established. It looks like it blended in nicely. We'll see. Um, we did an uphill and a downhill rope, both on about eighth inch high low. Personally, I think the uphill is easier, easier to control and get profile. <clears throat> downhill part, I noticed myself really backing off on my pressure. When I run downhill, I like to, I run, I like to run a lot of amps and I like to push on that rod, keep it in there and kind of work it just a little bit, but really push and go. So. I thought that the profile and also the downhill part, it kind of looks like it's got a weird, a little bit of a weird shoulder to it, but it broke the edges down, it went in, but I'm telling you the uphill is, it looks like it's got better profile. I'm much more confident with it. I hope that was a learning experience. So uh, we appreciate you watching weld.com. We appreciate your comments and everything. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching weld.com. <laughs> About that ground. Oh goodness sakes, Mike. You got man cub over here messing around with the ground. Set me up. <laughs>